the boss is never late, are they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually have a pretty light agenda today, I think. Uh, so we can fix that for you. We'll try not to. Uh, we'll try not to run long. Uh, okay, so running down the viewer pipeline. Uh, the HTTP and coroutines and Vivox viewers have been merged, and I believe that's out in RC now. Um, so that's good. Uh, the maintenance viewer, the most recent maintenance viewer, got promoted about an hour ago to the new default. Uh, that, uh, of course, was built on top of the 400 CEF viewer, and uh, you do want those fixes. Um, yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah. I'm glad you so, caught it. <laughs> uh, well, um, credit to users for having found the problem and forwarded it to us. So, um, and, and Nikki for having made it sure I paid attention. Uh, so kudos, kudos to everyone concerned. Thank you. And to Cal for having gotten a very quick fix put together, uh, so that we can include it in this release. Uh, hey, Cal. graphics, quick prefs. Uh, is still in need of a few tweaks, um, including some tweaks to how the, the avatar rendering complexity is calculated that people have pointed out in the feedback on that. Thank you. Um, so not exactly sure how we're going to deal with all those issues, but we're going to try and get that going again shortly uh, and get that moving forward. Uh, there is an update in progress on Rift Viewer, but I don't have a build for you yet, but uh, that's coming along. And, uh, of course, the extended skeleton Bento Viewer is still in beta and actually mostly only usable on... I mean, you can only use those, take advantage of those features on, on a DD because that's the only place you can upload uh, the extended skeleton assets. Uh, but that's going very well. We're getting good content, and uh, there are a bunch of issues to to for us to look at, and we're going to be prioritizing those and working through them. So no predictions. Is there any place about, we can look at that content? Uh, Do you have it rezzed out somewhere or anything like that? That's well. We, most of it is not ours. Um, so I mean, we have been given uh, a few copies of a few things, but not. Uh, not nearly everything everywhere. If um, Vera, I, do we have an auto return set on the test regions, or are uh, we just leaving them alone? I believe they're set for twelve hour auto return currently. I, uh, I'm just curious. I'd love to see what people are coming out with. Yeah, just a some, curiosity. Some of it's Pigs some of it's very cool, actually. Yeah. Pigs that fly to us. <laughs> Yes, there's a, a really <laughs> cool little little flying pig. That's, you can that's come great. to the Vento user group uh, meetings that we're having. Oh, yeah, Thursdays when is that if again? You wanna, if you want to see cool content. Um, yeah, it's uh, Thursday at uh, 1 uh, PST. Thursday at 1, 2, so that's 3 my time. Yeah, okay. Uh, One exactly four, 4 your time. 4 your time, Jessica. Oh, right, yeah. Um, uh, I only know that because it's... Same as mine. Awesome. But, uh, <laughs> We're on the same page. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, of course, we just had one yesterday, and uh, there were, uh, I don't know, there was a sort of a lizard man kind of a thing, and a, a really cool oh, dragon, and, so a, cool. and a centaur, and uh, a couple of other quadrupeds of various sorts. And I um, am so stoked to see... Lots of sets of wings and tails and and and, uh, and and that sort of thing. So, yes, uh, we're still accepting, you know, sort of freeform suggestions about how how that should be done. And we just set up 
uh, a new test region. I think it was only the correctly reconfigured as of yesterday. Uh, that will that's com that has no restrictions at all on what kind of skeleton you can upload. So that so that people who want to actually suggest changes to the skeleton, it's to the skeleton extensions themselves have a region where they can upload what they want to suggest and, and, and test it and demo it. So uh, content creators should be paying attention and participating. Uh, and I believe there was also an invite just went out to an event on Veers at the 20th, uh, in which we're going to have a little 19th. 19. I wasn't invited. Um, it, it was on our blog uh, to content creators oh, who want to come and have a have a you know coolest new content show. And okay, I've not seen that. I'm going to go look for that. Oh, thank you. There we go. Nineteenth. Um, I'm not sure I have that in my calendar. I should have to take a look. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this. It's for it's oh. for it's for bento related content. Yeah, but uh, so you know, get your get your favorite uh, get your favorite. Is there still that issue with getting into physics. the beta grid? Um, I seem to remember really saying there was a new issue with uh, people unable to get into the beta grid. They had to file a ticket in order to. Yeah, if, they, get if added. you're having a problem, file a support ticket. Yeah, the syncing okay, so is not. So is that still the, in place? That's still there. The syncing is not working as well as it should be. Um, if you need your account synced, just file a support ticket, and they can do it by hand. Hmm. Uh, the, uh, I, as far as I know, there's no outstanding problem with just logging in. I certainly haven't had any trouble. Um, although of course, you know, any given account, there, there might be some problem. Uh, in, inventory sync is not working the way it's supposed to right now. Okay. So, so it's just the sync, but everybody should still be able to log in. Right. And right. just not, they'll just, Okay. And that shouldn't matter for bento testing purposes because none of your inventory on a D, you know, on Agni is bento inventory. So um, the 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 plan is that the way inventory sync between the grids will work is is changing, and the change is in QA now. And the way it will work in the future is that once you Whenever you log into Aditi, it will flag your account as needing synchronizing. And that night, uh, overnight, the next the next midnight that you're not logged in at the time, uh, well, I don't know if it's exactly midnight, but sometime during the night when the batch job runs, it will merge your Agni inventory onto Aditi. So anything that's unique on the Aditi inventory will be left alone. Uh, anything that is in your Agni inventory that's not in your Aditi inventory will be copied over. So your Aditi inventory will be a superset. Yes, bad grid. Oh, that's very good, actually, because that way you're always sort of up to date. Hmm. Yeah, well, you'll always be well, you'll up to be date as of yesterday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's that's the way it's intended that it will work. Uh, and that change has actually been... Uh, created and is in QA now, ex except it's behind other things that are higher priority in QA, so it's not actually getting tested. So, um, but it, it, it will be, um, and at some point in the next few weeks, that will probably get rolled out. And uh, I suppose we'll put a note somewhere about that. Uh, maybe the Aditi message of the day, which hasn't changed in, well, Oh, does Aditi Here's have its own ever. message of the day? Really? Yeah, it does. It has a little message that says... It probably says Mesh uh, is now in testing or this something is, like that. This is, uh, you yeah. should, actually, you should have a this separate is, splash page for Aditi as well. Oh, we do. Oh, is there a separate? Oh, okay. Yeah, 
It goes to show how often I log into a TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, or how often you log in on our viewer. Yeah, um, well, yeah, well, that's okay. Fair point. Uh, but yes, it does have its own thing, which has a, you know, it's, it's very plain, except that it has lots of warnings about how you might, this might not work because it's a testing grid. Um, so, uh, it does not sync groups. No, it's, I'm just, the sync I was referring to was only inventory, right? The, there's. It, it turns out there are lots of complications with even thinking about syncing groups, so we don't. Uh, you just have to, if you want the same group to exist on both grids, you have to create it on both grids and put the same people in it. There's no relationship at all between the groups on the two grids. I shudder um, to think of the problems we could have with groups if they were synced across both grids. Yeah, it is. We we sort of had a little brainstorming session about it a while back, and and we pretty quickly concluded that it was not a productive way to spend time. Um, so uh, I think that's that's what I've got. Um, so the floor is open. Uh, we don't have a whole lot other than to say. Um we're probably going to be behind on this next release. Uh, in keeping with our quarterly releases, we would have had a release out in the middle of February, um, but uh, CEF is becoming a problem for us, and specifically Mac 64-bit. Uh, and uh, as a result, we're behind on QA, we're behind on everything, so we might be a bit late. Right, we, um, we didn't even... Uh, so the the 64-bit, uh, the, the version of CEF we shipped on the Mac is behind the version that's on Windows because the CEF project, which we just inherit some pre-built stuff from, uh, stopped building 32-bit versions several versions ago. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure of the specifics, and it, it doesn't really matter for this discussion. Uh, and so we... Uh, so we're stuck on that version for our 32-bit Mac build. Um, we have started a 64-bit viewer build project. We are actively engaged in oh, really? doing that now. Um, on all three so, OS? Well, actually, on Windows and Mac? On Windows Both? and Mac. Um, really? Yes. Uh, it, it may well be that we end up not having a 32-bit Mac version. We haven't made that Well, that's the route that um, more or less we've been taking as well now um right uh so um uh, if if it turns out to be really easy to have one we might and if not then we probably won't but well but so we the thing about mac 32 bit is we've actually had no complaints so we stopped doing uh, 32 bit max and we've had like as far as i know no complaints from people uh that there's no 32 bit mac well that's um, encouraging and so if we've not had a problem with it, you guys wouldn't either. So I would encourage you to uh, to do that, and that would help us. So you, uh, you hear that, that? Callum? <laughs> <laughs> you so can make a note of that, week? Callum. Uh, no, no. We're, I, I made, <laughs> oh, come no, on. <laughs> no, I, I think it will probably be uh, closer to the end of the quarter before we're ready to ship those versions. But um, the uh, but we're... We are actively seized of the problem. It is on the roadmap, and we are actually working on it. So, oh, that's huge. That's fantastic. Um, Callum, oh, you Callum wanted to hesitated. expand on that? Yeah, just, just quickly to say, if, if you have any information about problems that you encountered, you know, the, the main bulk of the work, of course, is converting all the third-party libraries over. Um, so if there's any uh, notes or, you know, sort of gotchas I should be careful of, that would be really very much appreciated. Absolutely. I'll talk to uh, Nikki, um, who yeah, uh, dealt with a lot of that. Uh, right, Cinder have, also actually did a lot of that. So, but right, and we have we have contributions related to that from several sources, and all, yeah. all of that is going to get folded. Also, we have a, a a couple of branches full of other open source contributions that have been sort of neglected. Um, 
for lack of developer bandwidth, uh, but I've asked the 64-bit team to just fold all of those into one repo they're using. So we're going to try and get caught up on on some of our our uh, backed up contributions. Um, so apologies for having taken so long with them, but we've been a little busy with Bento. Uh, so, so you could have, if you want to avoid that in the future, just let us know about the super secret stuff you're working on, and then we'll be fully understanding about the stuff that you're not getting done. Yeah, but somebody else wouldn't be. So <laughs> yeah, that, that said, I do have a, a thank you. Um, I, I would like to, uh, uh, I would like you to pass on a special thank you to April Linden for her comment on uh, the. Uh, uh, what happened last weekend for her? Oh yeah, yeah, summit. fantastic! Especially, especially that paragraph. Um, which which paragraph? Ed is now <laughs> incorporating that into all of his classes about clearing cash, causing problems with load time, and all that stuff. Yeah. So oh, oh that. yes, right, right. That in particular, uh, I special thank you to April for adding that specific comment because uh, uh, if, if nothing else I'm going to continue trying to pound it into users heads not to clear your cash for every damn little problem that you have <laughs> well that's good uh, we thank you for that effort and our caches thank you for that effort but but overall, in general, um, the whole Linden Lab being open about things, the mistakes, whatever, that's really huge. Uh, I, I think that's terrific, and I think April is amazing. So uh, you, you guys got to see that. Uh, I, I, get <laughs> I, to see, I get to see amazing <laughs> things April does every day, and uh, it's, it's just marvelous having April here. Uh, uh, well, yeah, Annie, but, uh, you know, we can't have everything. Uh, seriously, though, yeah, when, when, when support tells you to clear your cash for a, uh, for a group issue. Um, the, the only thing they're supposed to tell you to clear cash for is inventory issues, and even that, I'm not particularly. Uh, I'm not particularly excited about it, about doing it even for that these days. Uh, I did have another thing to bring up, um, which Hanseril just reminded me of, uh, and to quote: uh, "Tell them to expletive stop mixing tabs and spaces." <laughs> Unquote. Have you guys done anything with that yet? Uh, we haven't done anything new, no. Um, we're, it's supposed to be true that everybody's using spaces now. Yeah. But not converting existing tabs to spaces unless you were, uh, unless you were changing that stuff anyway. Well, you did but, that one time, some time back, where you went through, uh, I seem to remember, you went through everything and converted everything to one standard. No, I just threatened to. I never actually did it. Oh, I thought you had actually did it. I think you need to do it. <laughs> I think what I really makes do. people nervous is that if we go through and change a whole bunch of these files over wholesale, then merges become much nastier for a long time until everything is uh, has incorporated. If if we ever if we ever get to the point where we've only got one development project going on and we're not going to have to merge it with the three or four we've got in parallel at any given time normally, uh, then I will consider doing one giant check-in at the very end of that project or at the very beginning of that project that changes all the tabs to spaces. I mean, well, what if I, you did, what if, what if you did, um, the next time you guys have like a big holiday, you keep one guy back and you have him go through all the repositories and, and, run the same thing through every single one of them and then by the time everyone gets back from holidays all the repos they'll merge but, perfect because they were all done equally but, but the trouble is that that's that that the they'll merge perfect isn't true because all, all that will happen is the tool will say 
Well, this line has been changed in both repos. Uh, you, I have to throw it out to the human beings. Um, and that's not good. So uh, it, it, it really is, you know, one of these things where, uh, unfortunately, the, the difficulty of being at either A or B is very low, and the difficulty of getting from one to the other is very high. So if the opportunity ever presents itself, uh, I'll, I'll do it. But I don't anticipate that happening any time this year, because we're pretty much always going to have multiple projects in, in flight at once. Sorry. I hate it as much as anybody does. Uh, and I... Who uh, who handles your merges? <laughs> uh, whoever does the merge. <laughs> Shame you don't have, like, just one person that does all the merging. Because they would just rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty careful not to make it just one person. See that would be a good idea, uh, and and if everybody had to had to run that, then it wouldn't be too long before everything sort of fell into the same. Yeah, same actually, at, at my brother's company, he set up the the uh, the system for doing configuration management, and the way they do it is that when you check in, a hook reformats your code. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. So, Do it. Uh, go, go, go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, even Callum thinks it's a great idea. Well, that might be a way to get around the uh, the nasty merge issues, wouldn't it? If it exactly. If it behaves the same way on all the source code. Um, it, it'll Eventually, everything will fall into the same, uh, the same yeah. formatting. Right. Yeah. Um, I... I don't believe I don't believe that such a capability exists on on Bitbucket. So, it, and I can't get I can't people get people to consistently install the hooks that run the check on our code style, much less something that actually reformats things. So, well, that's a that's a failure on the project manager. Yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> you can fix that, you know us. I'm just not dynamite, brutal enough. One stick of dynamite per individual that screws it up. No yeah. more problem. Or, or like like Jonathan suggested, 10, ten linden for everyone. That, if you want to clear cache, cost you 10 linden. Do the same thing with lindens, except it's 10 bucks. <laughs> they don't run it through 10 bucks off your paycheck. Yeah, right. Um, then, then I'd have accounting mad at me. <laughs> yeah. You don't want accounting to be mad at you. That's, that's, that's just a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, what else have we got? Anything? Uh, I don't have anything more. But I see uh, the Catsnip crew are here, which is nice to see because we haven't seen them in a while. Yes, and I hear there's a Yay, I hear kitty. there's an update coming from there Catsnip. Has, I thought there was just an update. That's most excellent. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to tempt Kitty to use our our release management system, but she's not biting. Yet. <laughs> well, I keep getting uh, you know every time I I do a block, uh, you know we get overwhelmed with complaints and stuff, and uh, I keep trying to tell people you know we could do that or we could use Linen Lab system. It, it's up to you. And uh, I think people would like your system less than our system. I, I could be wrong, but I know that Whirly um, rages every time uh, she has to deal with your update system. Well, yeah, but Whirly runs nine different yeah, versions at any one she time. Gets, yeah. uh, she's absolutely the worst. <laughs> yeah, she, she's absolutely the worst possible case. Uh, we're, we're not optimizing for people who are trying to do that. I mean, that's... That actually applies to us developers as well. Um, we we have the same problem, but um, uh, uh, the voice fixes uh, all the voice fixes have been merged into the HTTP viewer. 
Uh, let me bring up my cohort display here. Um, where is it? I moved my windows around. Okay, there it is. Uh, so that's version 401. Well, I'll put it in chat. Yeah. Uh, no, this isn't the right version. I don't think. It should, it'll be the next, the next one. Or, or is it in this one, Ryder? Three hundred nine, nine forty-three. Uh, that was the one that uh, we just put out. Yes, that's the one that's yes. out now. Yes. Yes. So that has all the we we merged the Vivox fixes and the HTTP fixes into one viewer. We, when I say we, I mean Rider, um, did that merge. Uh, and so it has, that is the latest and greatest and bestest voice support. Um, there are other improvements coming um, from Vivox. Uh, and you're sure there's nothing in there that lets people like view your webcam or anything like that? <laughs> uh, the um, I didn't get that fix yet. That fix, he's got to merge out from viewer release. So um, in the test cohort, it's it's technically still there. Um, but that's why it's a very small number of users. But that will get an update early next week um, to, to get that bug fix over. Um, the, uh, similarly, the quick graphics, which is the other release cohort that's out there. Uh, the, uh, but there, there is a set of voice fixes coming, and there are also some voice server fixes that are going to be deployed soon. So, um, so yes, there are t continuing improvements in voice. But if you have problems with voice, you should be testing on the, uh, the HTTP update viewer that has the that has all the fixes we know about and hopefully we'll be able to make that the default real soon now that, if if all goes well that will be the next promotion we want jelly babies uh, they're, they're coming we, we haven't we, I haven't quite got them right. Uh, oh, well, we have hippos. We have hippos and we have cookies. Well, Firestorm has cookies. Any thoughts about mirrors? Uh, we have, we, we, we don't believe mirrors are a good idea. We're not going to do mirrors. There are too many. Is that as a. Yes, mirrors are cool. Is that, is that based on um, development based, complexities or user it, It's, no, it's based on the fact that it, there are too many corner cases that it it cannot be made to support well enough, um, and I, we frankly we think that it would cause us more trouble in people complaining about the fact that they don't work well than we get now from saying there are no mirrors. So. Uh, think curved surfaces, think mirrors that reflect each other. Um, there are just lots of reasons why it's not that great an idea. 24-hour day cycles. Uh, I don't have an update on it, except to say that... Well, from it, what I it, heard... It will, it will happen sometime yeah. soon. I, guess, I don't know about uh, soon. It will happen. Well, Joe, Joe has managed to convince Abby that... It's a good yeah, Abby, idea. it's one of the things Abby bugs us about. Yeah. 
Um, we we have some we have some other things that have to get done first, but uh, but we're gonna we're gonna find a way to get that in. Uh, along with, I hope, a few other nice environment setting improvements. Uh, I think that's just one thing that we'll we'll change when we get around to that. The, the 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 second life time comes from the servers. So yes, that's that's actually a server change. Something that actually occurred to me about the twenty four hour cycle idea is um, that'll be great for people who are in a time zone to which uh, it is daytime in SL. But for folks, uh, you know, who happen to be in a time zone where it would be nighttime, then they're perpetually in the dark in SL unless they override their, their wind light settings. Yeah, but, every, but people do anyway, so. Yeah, I suppose. Actually, the, the way we'll do it when we do it is you'll be able to just set your own um, daylight. Set your own time? Yeah. Oh, that would set be the, great. Yeah. Set the day length to what you want it to be. I don't know what the limits will be. It, it, it will certain, there will certainly be a lower limit. Um, I assume we'll also have some kind of upper limit just because otherwise it gets weird. But, uh, or as Becky suggests, you, you could do, uh, based on, I mean, you could, you could basically set your wind light based on German time or, um, you know, Eastern time or whatever. Right. Well, what we'll have is the wind light setting will include the ability to set how long is the day cycle in in real hours, uh, and then how does it correspond? You know, where does midnight in the day cycle fall on the on you know on a on a on a real time clock in SLT, and then from there you'll be you'll be all set. Um, I don't think we'll change what the clock in the corner says. It will always say. Something PST. So you'll, you know, the defaults will remain exactly what they are now. That is, we'll we'll stay with the four hour default day length. Oh, I see. So that would still remain default, and then you could extend it if you wanted to. And you can, if you want to open your environment settings and change it, you can. Right. Through, if you're, through, through region if you're wind the, though, right? Right. It's a, okay. it's a wind light setting, right? So it'd be a, it would be an estate thing. And be um, have you made any progress case. on your wind light? You were, you were going to improve on that system. Uh, that's, it's, it's all in the same bundle of stuff. So, hopefully. We've always been doing the settings on this region, actually. I, I don't know when master. she finds time to sleep. <laughs> uh, or I, eat. I think that there's absolutely no evidence that she ever does. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had really, because uh, uh, she's been um, at her parents' now for since before Christmas. And so she's not able to get in world. Um, and a plausible conspiracy could be said that we're going to be late on our release because Whirly's not been around. Although that, that wouldn't be true, but it would be possible. Yeah, it's all my fault that we're going to be late on a release. So we're not going to blame it on Whirly. Actually, I was hoping we could get the release out before she gets back so that I don't have to deal with triage. I don't like triage. Never would have guessed. Uh, well, you guys, you got, you guys know how enthusiastic really is uh, about Jira and bugs, and um, triage gets her so excited. <laughs> I could be hours doing triage with really. So 
So anyway, that's all I have. And anybody else? I, I think we're we're all done. She does, writer. Yeah. It's, right. No, you're not just, wrong, writer. You're wrong. She's got she yours is powers. Era. Yeah. She she's the Matrix. At least that, that, that's the best. That, that's the best guess we have now. Uh, that she actually is the Jira. You realize she's going to watch this recording and then she's going to be all like <laughs> embarrassed because we're talking about her. It, it, no, she's the architect from the Matrix. In other words, she's the one. She's the architect, the one that created it all. Now I'm off to celebrate my rest day. So y'all have a good day. Happy, happy rest day. day. Oh, happy rest day. Oh, and um, thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you, Lyndon's. Well, an awesome weekend. We'll see you in two weeks or sooner if you show up at one of the other meetings. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to make it to the bento thing. Yeah. It's some of the stuff people... I'm, I'm really make, looking forward to see what people come gotta, up. You know, make sure you come, obviously, in the bento viewer so you can see everything properly. But. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Very I just, cool. I'm, st I'm still getting the lock up with the viewer every so often. With Firestorm? Yeah, when y'all just drop the chairs, my viewer locked up. You should try um, the catsnip viewer. <laughs> or Black <laughs> Dragon. Or uh, Singularity, which hasn't had a release in almost a year. Well, the, the other option is to buy a, a, an Ed Merriman approved computer, right? No, the other option is probably just to oh, change oh, out the graphics. Oh, Bento Bunny. Yeah, it could be my graphics card. <laughs> oh, gee, oh thanks, my god, that kitty. is so cool. I might try that later today, is putting the other graphics card, my NVIDIA... 550 back in, see if that makes a difference. Yeah, we use that, we use that Bento Bunny video in our internal project presentation. Is yeah. Veer still here? I saw a video of a, a guy who pointed out that one of his complaints about the ears was that they, they should have two bones instead of one because as it is now, it bends instead of folds. You can't. Yeah, that's on the, that's on the list of things to think about. Oh, good. Okay. It might have been one of, one of the Speaking suggestions of is just, to add a second gear. Speaking of which, just it would be nice if Linden Lab put some new attachment points in for like the eyebrows and some other places. Another there, attachment point on the. There ears. are a bunch of new attachment points in Bento. Well, with Bento, yeah, because there's new bones, so you've got new attachment points as well. Yeah, there are attachment points. Are you on increasing, the wing. by the way, the uh, attachment? The, the number of attachments. Oh. So it's, it's um, 38, isn't it? It's 38, I can't remember. I believe that's correct. I it was 60. Yeah. I it was 38. 38 attachments. Uh, no, 60 is, is groups. If you're, Are we getting both? Oh, layers, right. Too? Oh yeah! Oh, you, oh, you, you have at the project Bento. You have stuff? to, you have to look at the at the video. Just search oh, Bento, oh, and uh, the blog there's post. some amazing stuff. Look at it, Anara's blog post on Bento. Okay, I'll, ha I'll have to do that. I think I may have the Bento viewer on my computer, so I may log in on it and check it out. Yeah, uh, you need to be on. Uh, it's, it's on the page. It's on the alternate viewers page. Yeah, I think we're down at the down at the bottom because it's a project viewer. Okay, I got a small bear running loose in my yard, so I got to go take care of this. Y'all take care. Yep, a bear. Well, as long as it's small, I guess. All right, I'm back to uh, making. Yeah, I'm back clothing. to work for you. I need to go drop a game off at the uh, social club. Oh, and I have to log in on Whirly's account to do a thing. Oh, don't say that out loud. You're not allowed to do that. I didn't anymore. say that out loud. You only think I did. Okay, I gotta go. Bye.
Later, Jeff. And later, folks.